guys, welcome and welcome back to Sissy Spaces. Today's video is all about the cleaning habits and routines I use in order to maintain a clean and tidy home, and it starts right here in the bedroom. Although it may seem like it on video, I actually don't make my bed right away when I wake up. I allow it to air out while getting dressed. You see, if you make your bed right away when you wake up, you trap that moisture in the sheets, which allow dust mites to grow. I also shake my sheets as I make my bed. This removes dead skin cells and other debris from your sheets. Because pillows flatten over time, I fluff them every day. What this does is breaks up any pieces inside the pillow, which allows the air to enter, and it increases the pillow's volume. Every day, I open the windows in one room of my home for at least 20 minutes. This improves indoor air quality by circulating the air in your home, and it pushes out air pollutants. As you can see, the dishwasher is full today. I only run my dishwasher when it's full. If you run your dishwasher half empty, it wastes energy and puts more wear and tear on the appliance. You also don't want to overload it because this will cause some dishes not to get cleaned and chip or break. And if your dishes are dripping when you remove them, you either forgot to turn on the heating cycle or your low on rinse agent, which helps improve the dishwasher drying performance and reduces water spots on the dishes. important that everything in your home has a place and every member of your home knows where that place is. As a military family, we moved around a lot. And with each new move, every family member was made aware of where things go. If you're the person who does most, if not all, of the cleaning, inform your family members of where things are. They get just as frustrated as you do when they can't find anything. By keeping everyone informed, this reduces stress within the home, less wasted time looking for items, and it saves money because you no longer purchase items you don't have space for. By the way, if you have any cleaning habits or routines you would like to share, please do so. I love reading the comments and I always respond. I always pre-rinse or wash my dishes before loading them in the dishwasher. This guarantees you never have a clogged filter basket. And by not at least rinsing your dishes, you may eventually end up with a clogged drain hose. I or another family member load the dishwasher after every meal and add dish detergent whether we're running a cycle or not. This informs the rest of the family that the dishes in the dishwasher are dirty. After the dishes are done, I always wipe down the countertops. I read that the kitchen and bathroom countertops are the most used surfaces in your home, and wiping them down frequently prevents the growth of bacteria. Also, wiping the kitchen countertops down daily reduces your chance of getting rodents. I clean and 
I cook, so I don't have as much mess waiting for me later. Also, while cooking, I use a Clorox wipe to tackle those cooked on stains, so I only need to use a damp microfiber cloth to wipe it down later. Today I'm polishing the exterior of my oven using a Wyman stainless steel cleaner and I'm also cleaning the inside of my oven and I found the easiest way to keep the interior of my oven clean is by wiping it down after every use. Once a month though, I spray the interior with Dawn Platinum Power Wash Dish Spray and I let it sit overnight. I then wipe it down with a bowl of warm water and a heavy duty scotch Bright sponge. By the way, if you have granite countertops, you need to reseal them every year. I do this at the end of each year using the granite gold sealer. Last year, I had to order it off of the Walmart website because they no longer sold it in stores, but you can also find it at Home Depot and Lowe's. stainless steel refrigerator with a mixture of equal parts water and white vinegar is my go-to but you have to ensure you completely remove the white vinegar residue and buff and polish it with olive oil lately i found a quicker way and that's by using the Wyman stainless steel cleaner because it requires a lot less effort To reduce allergens and keep the dust at a minimum, I vacuum and dust the high traffic areas daily and I also use my iRobot to assist. throw every night so every morning I remove it and shake it. I also wash this throw weekly on the sanitize cycle. lay on these throw pillows but I still shake and vacuum them daily. This keeps them fluffier and fresher longer. Whenever I vacuum the sofa I treat all stains as soon as possible. This keeps the stain from settling in which makes it harder to remove later. vacuum this rug daily. This prolongs the life of this rug because it removes the soil and dirt that can damage the carpet fiber. We use this 
this wood table daily and to keep it clean i wipe it down with pledge lemon scented furniture polish and then every three to six months i treat it with the old english wood oil this is where we keep the family calendar it has saved us valuable time and money because it keeps the family informed and on the same page not only does it track our upcoming appointments, but I keep the grocery list here. And the motto in my family is, if it's not on the grocery list, it doesn't get purchased. If you're new to my channel, my goal this year was to wipe down all the walls and doors of my home. The remaining rooms to get done is the guest room, hobby room, and the kitchen, but today we're gonna wipe that kitchen off the list. I'm using the Zep Foaming Wall Cleaner, a Swifter Wet Dry Mop, and a white microfiber cloth. have a laundry schedule in my house and today is towel day. By having a laundry schedule, it saves me time and energy. I always load laundry first thing in the morning while I clean and throughout the day I fold and put them away. By having a laundry schedule, the family is aware of what would be washed on certain days and then they don't need to worry about whether or not certain clothing will be washed and ready when they need them. For today is towel wash day and that includes the towels and throws used by my fur baby Max. I sanitize his towels and throws weekly by washing them in hot soapy water and I dry them on the antibacterial cycle. This helps kill the parasites like fleas and reduces bacterial growth. doors monthly with spray away on the glass and warm soapy water on the rest of the door. Today I'm going to use Zep Foam and Wall Cleaner to see how it performs. The doors I clean today are made of fiberglass so I'm not too worried about what I use on them but I'm very careful when cleaning my front door because it's made of wood. It's important that you clean your doors because it is the first thing your guests see when they arrive and it's also a high traffic area. <laughs> windows in my bedroom because it's been over 20 minutes since I aired it out. Max's towels throw in crate covers are dry and as I pull them from the dryer I shake them to remove any remaining dog hair. To conserve energy and water I include the rugs leading to the exterior of my home in this load and I fold Max's items in the laundry room. I don't want to fold them on the ironing board because I'm afraid any dog hair may remain on them. Whenever I dry Max's items and remove the lint trap, tons of dog hair falls from the dryer. I do shake his towel throwing crate cover outside before loading them in the washer, but I always get the same result. Because of this, I clean the lint trap thoroughly using the vacuum and lint trap cleaner brush. And I purchased this lint trap brush from Amazon and we'll have it linked in my description box in case you're interested.
clean this half bath, I want to spray on the cleaning agent and give it time to work. And while waiting, I'm going to remove this last load from the washer and place her in the dryer. I'm then going to wipe down the door of the washer, the rubber gasket around the ring of the tub, and the soap dispenser. You should do this after your last load of laundry, regardless of whether or not you have a front loader or a top loader, because this prevents a buildup of mold. I deep clean one room in my home a week and today it's the half bath. Because the half bath is much smaller than the other rooms, I added the walls and the kitchen to my weekly deep cleaning schedule. This home has three full and one half baths, so I only clean one bathroom per week. The boys clean their own bathrooms weekly, so the half bath and the owner suite bath gets cleaned every two weeks, but I do wipe down the sinks and the toilet weekly, and the rest of the bathroom is cleaned every two weeks. Whenever I wipe down the toilet, I use a facial tissue first to wipe it, and then I follow it up with a Clorox wipe. I clean the outside of the toilet first, starting from the top down, before cleaning the toilet bowl. To clean the toilet bowl, as you saw earlier, I coat the toilet bowl well, the entire interior, and then I start underneath the bowl's rim, and I always end with a flush. After removing the last load from the dryer, I vacuum my laundry room floors weekly and I mop them monthly. I also keep the brooms and mops stored behind the door on a coat rack. This keeps them out of sight but also within reach when needed. my vacuum canister at the end of the day after each use. If you wait for it to be completely full, the vacuum suction power will decrease. And by emptying it frequently, you toss out those potential germs and bacteria before they can take hold in your vacuum. Weekly, I remove the chairs and table in the kitchen eating area and vacuum. The iRobot does a good job of cleaning around the tables and chairs, but to prevent rodents, I vacuum under it weekly nevertheless. Fold and pull away my clothes daily. This reduces the amount of wrinkles and creases in your laundry and by folding or rolling your clothes, it takes up less space. However, rolling clothes is time consuming, so I only do this when packing for vacation. Also, the clothes that are worn outside the home are hung in the closet. This helps maintain a wrinkle-free finish and preserves the creases in the pants and draping of the tops and dresses. our daily wear in this glass storage cabinet which is really a dining room storage cabinet and I organize them by color and size. This makes it easier to pick out our clothes, see what we have and identify what we need.
closet was configured to allow equal space for hanging and shelf storage. This makes it easier to keep it organized and group like items together. If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you for watching Sissy Spaces. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and share this channel with your family and friends. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.